How's this week been? You feel like uh, after having a couple of days off, you come back refreshed? Oh yeah, it's been nice. Um, that by week, I kind of got my legs under me a little bit. Um, just feel fresh for these last four games. Feeling pretty good. Are you 100%? Yeah, yeah, I'm 100%. I just had a little groin strain, but it's nothing serious. I can, I've been playing with it anyway, so. Without DK in the lineup, uh, Coach Longo had said Monday in here that it might be more opportunities to have two tight end sets and and to incorporate more stuff for the tight ends. Have you have you mentioned? Have you see, noticed that? Um, yeah. So in practice, we've we've been doing a whole lot of different two tight end packages. Um, whether it's me and Cooley or Cooley and Jason, um, even Royce and Michael Michael Howard have been getting in there some. So I think we're really going to diversify the offense in that way a little bit. When you use those two tight end sets, is that you staying where you normally are and them replacing somebody, or are you kind of? So it's, it's kind of both. Um, there's some packages where I'll actually be on the ball um, and Cooley kind of in that wing position. And then there's some where Cooley comes in and plays the wing and then I replace one of the slots out in the boundary. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of a little bit of everything. How many different positions do you have to know how to play at this point? Um, I mean, it's, it's nothing new um, in the sense that, you know, we've, we have plays where we're in the slot already and running routes and perimeter blocking. And then there's plays where we're in the box blocking linebackers and DNs. So it's it's really not a whole lot of new plays. It's just different personnel. So talk about uh, the the red zone fixes maybe from the Auburn game where you guys were, you know, not as efficient as you've been in the red zone. Yeah, so we think a lot of this um, a lot of these two tight end packages are gonna help with that. Um, you know, having some bigger bodies in the box, we can, you know, block better for the run game and also we can you know, pop a tight end out in some space that they're not expecting. So I think that's going to be an answer. And also just establishing the run early will help us. So. This might be oversimplifying, but Coach was just talking about how hard it is to beat man coverage when the space gets condensed. Why is man harder in short fields than it is in long fields? Um, well, so... When they run man coverage and we've got a bunch of field to work with, it's easy to get behind them, you know, get to space. But when it's, you know, when you're on the 10 yard line, it's hard to beat them deep because any deep ball could go out the back of the end zone. So, I mean, it's um, a lot of teams run man in the red zone just because they know it's hard to get beat deep. And, you know, obviously with our receivers, they can beat them deep a lot of the time. So, are there workarounds to that or is it just beating the guy? Yeah, so I mean, if it's man coverage, it's really just you versus him. You got to work space and kind of play against his leverage and get open. But uh, we have a lot of different plays and different, you know, um, run pass options that we can run that will counter that. So, what do you see out of South Carolina's defense? Um, I think they're they're a good defense. Um, they're fast and they're really good at holding blocks and getting off. I don't think they're extremely big, but they're really good at kind of shedding blocks and playing in space and being fast. Longo said he felt like they they played to the whistle as good as anybody yeah. played this year. Yeah, I'd agree with that. They're all, you know, they run to the ball well, even if it's on the other side of the field. So I think it's going to be a good challenge for us. Dawson, this, this may not even be on your mind, but there have been a lot of stories and stuff out there about you as a potential draft pick in this upcoming draft. Is that something you've been thinking about at this time? Are you paying attention? Um, I'm not thinking a whole lot about it. I'm just really focused on these last four games, trying to finish strong. Um, you know, obviously I've had to think about it a little bit, but I mean, it's it's pretty far off for me right now, so. This is a pretty important game. Uh, yeah. You guys recognize that and focused on that? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we always have the mentality that whatever the next game is, that's the most important one of the season. So I think, you know, nothing's going to change for us in terms of preparation um, and the mindset of being ready for the game. But I mean, everybody knows it's a big one. So we're excited for it. A lot of people when it comes to tight end, tight ends tend to talk about you and Octavius. How do you feel about uh, Jason Peller and how do you think he's done throughout the year so far? You know, he's really been coming along. Um, he kind of has been transitioning from quarterback and back to tight end a whole lot, which has been hard for him in the sense of, you know, getting comfortable with position and blocking. but. I think through these last four games, we'll see him a little bit more, and he's gonna he'll he'll be able to get on the field a little bit. You dressing up tonight? <laughs> you know, maybe I was thinking about it, but um, I'm I'm not really sure. I, I have a Jackie Moon um, <laughs> outfit that I can throw my hair out for, so I mean, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on. Uh, it sounds Thank good. you, bud. Thanks.